In this video, I will show you how to use SQL Server in Talent. First of all, what is SQL Server? Well, it's a relational database. It's embedded in the Microsoft world, so you can use it with Visual Studio, Power BI, etc. You will find more on the link here below. But now we're going to talk about how to use SQL Server in Talent. So we're going to look at two big things. One is how to create the SQL Server connection specifically with the open source JTDS driver, because the Microsoft driver can't be included in the Talent Studio out of the box. And then we're going to look at the different components here. We can create SCDs and we can do bulk loading. We can get the last inserted ID and many things more. In our example, we're going to use the connection component, rollback or commit, the close component and the output component itself to write data through the database. So this is what we're going to look at now in a demo time here in Talent to define the connection to MS SQL Server. I go to metadata on DB connections. I right click and I select create connection. I give that a name MS SQL Server and then go to next and select Microsoft SQL Server. For the database version, you have two choices. You can use either the Microsoft driver, but this is a library that can't be included in Talent out of the box because of licensing reason. So it's easier to choose open source JTDS. And now I'm providing my information here to connect to the database. In case there is anything wrong, I will get option to show the details here. In this case, it would say unknown server host name. So this would indicate what you should do in order to fix that. Once you have it, you should get this message. You can click on finish. Now here is the connection. I want to use that in a job. We have a few simple steps. The first sub job is to establish the connection. Here at the end, we will close the connection again. And here in the middle, we're loading a CSV file, outputting this to the database. And only if everything is okay, we do a commit. And if something goes wrong, we do a rollback. And then for the components here, we can see in databases and DB specifics, what ones we have available for MS SQL. But we're going to build something like this. So let me close this one again and not save the changes. So we have to create a job for this. So right click on job designs and let's call that MS SQL server. I will add a pre-job component and place that here on the top left. And now drag and drop my database connection into that job. And here in the job convert it into db connection component. Now this one is fine. It has the connection information already from a pre-job, right click and select trigger on component. Okay, connected to this one. We can now click on run and see if this part is working. It's being able to connect to the database in this first sub job. Now the other way around, I want to do after processing everything in my job. This means I will add a post and job component and a db close component. The DB close component you won't get if you drag and drop this connection into your job. Just being in the designer here in the central area, you can start typing DBCL and you will also find that and just select it and hit return on your keyboard to insert it. Now here in component, we have to select the database type, which is Microsoft SQL Server, hit apply, and then also tell it which connection to close, which is a DB connection one. And then for this to recently happen after everything else is processed, we have to connect this as well, like above here with the uncomponent OK trigger to post job component. So right click on post job, select the trigger on component OK and connect it to DB close component. We are on the next step ready to run this job. So I go to run and hit the run button. And we can already see here in the interface and in the console, we don't have any error message. We have here an OK and here. Now it's time to take the file that we want to load to the database, which is this one here, a simple CSV file with a header that has three columns, a store name, a date and a sales amount. And then the corresponding rows where the date is on this part here in the middle. And then the values are separated by a comma. So this is what we're going to have in mind when we define this now in a talent. Back in Talent, uh, we will define uh, this uh, CSV file by right clicking here on File Delimited and select Create File Delimited. We give that a name, for example, sales.csv, just like uh, the file and browse for the file now. At this uh, stage, we get a preview of the file content and we just go to Next and we can see it's not yet parsed the way we want. 
So we have to adjust something. First of all here, defining the comma as a separator. In the second step, defining this first row as a header. So how to do that? Here for the field separator, on the top left, we select comma and we can hit refresh preview. So it's splitting it up into three columns already. And one more thing we can do here now is just check this box, set heading row as column names. Then we will have nicer column names instead of column zero, one and two here. Again, hit refresh preview and, and this is it already. Now in the last step, we have to define in the schema here, we have to pay attention to what we actually want because we also need that in the next step for the creation of the table. For the store, it's probably fine to leave that as a string and nine characters long. For the date, it should be of date type, but here we want another pattern. Here we have year, dash, a two digit month, a dash and two digit day. So we define this one here, how to do that easily. You delete the pattern you already have and then you use control space. So here in this field for the date column, control space, and then select one of the patterns that helps us with this one, which is here the fifth from the top. And now for the sales, I select double and eight in length, but a precision of two because we only have maximum two decimal places. And this is fine. So I can just hit finish here and we will now be able to use this in our job. Drag and drop that into the central area, convert it into file input and delimited. I first of all want to see that here on the console to verify if the definition is outputting the data the way I think it should be before we actually load it to the database. For this, we will use the lock row component, left click in the designer and write lock. When it's selected, hit return on your keyboard. And then you just need to connect sales.csv to this logo component. For this logo component, we can switch that to table mode. So it will nicer print that to the console. And now we're ready to run this job again. And that's pretty good already. Now again, we will take the connection and convert it to a DB output component, which means writing to the SQL server database. So drag and drop that again into your job, convert it to TDB output. And now here from the logo component connected to MS SQL server component. Three things we have to do here. We can check use an existing connection. This is also why we defined the connection here before. Then we have to provide a table name. So let me just call that sales. And in order for us to be able to run this several times, I will just select here drop table if exists and create. Okay, and now if we're using this connection component and this close component, we have to do either explicit commit or rollback. So this is one more thing we have to add to our job. So being here in the central editor, I just type commit and we will find this MS SQL commit component. And I will also type rollback and here we'll find MS SQL rollback component. I move those a bit closer to the DB output component that we have here, which is this one. It's showing another label, but you can see here in view, we can change that. And when I use this parameter placeholder here, then it's actually DB output one. And we want to commit the data in case everything in this component is fine. And in other cases, we want to roll back. So on this DB output component, I will right click and select trigger on component OK to go to DB commit. And again, right click on DB output component trigger on component arrow to go to DB rollback. In the commit and rollback component, we have to select which connection to use. We don't need to close in the connection directly because we actually already have this explicit DB close in the last step of our job. This is all we have to do. And we now run this job again. We will see the data on the console. We can leave this component here, but just deactivate this and the job would still work. And this is one of the nice features of a TLOC row component and should now be able to verify that the data is in the database. But for MS SQL Server, I have a problem with this default data type mapping. Let me just show you what I mean. Now we have a date, which also seems to have a time and even milliseconds part. Even worse for the sales column here, we not only have two decimal places. If we compare this to the file, it does not really look like it's matching. So this is what we're going to fix now in our talent job. And there's a DB output component, go to edit schema. First of all, for the DB type for the date column, we're going to select a date. And here I want to have decimal. The other things are fine. And now I defined here job table if exists and create. So I can simply rerun this job. 
and we should now have the correct data in our database, which we can confirm by rerunning this select asterisk from a sales. And there we see we have the data now just the way we intended to load it. And that's pretty much it for the demo. So you've seen how to connect to Microsoft SQL Server using the JTDS driver. And you've seen how to build a simple jump and what components are available. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for our updates. And if you feel curious to learn more, go to bit.ly slash talent data, where you find my comprehensive course on how to use talent to build ETL and jobs. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.